Welcome to this video. Today in this video, we will learn about the surface area of a combination of solids. In the previous session, you have learned about the surface area of all solid figures such as cuboid, cube, cylinder, cone, sphere and hemisphere. If you are asked of the figures formed by the combination of these solid figures, can you find the curved surface area and the total surface area? Let's discuss about it. You all must be familiar with an ice cream cone because all children like it. Look at this ice cream cone carefully and identify the combination of figures that make the cone. Let's draw its shape. By looking at it, we can see that it is formed by combining two figures, a hemisphere and a cone. Where the top part of the ice cream cone is a hemisphere and the bottom part is a cone. Now, if we have to put a paper cover on this ice cream cone, how much paper will we need? Correct. For this, we will have to find the curved surface area of the ice cream. Since we have to find the curved surface area of a figure, that is formed by the combination of two or more figures. We will add the curved surface area of a hemisphere, 2 pi r square, and the curved surface area of a cone, pi r l. We obtain the curved surface area of an ice cream cone as pi r within bracket 2r plus l. You can see that the paper used to pack the ice cream cone will be equal to the total curved surface area of the cone. Similarly, we can find the curved surface area and the total surface area of a figure formed by combining any two or more figures. Today in this video, we learned to find the surface area of a figure formed by the combination of solids. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples based on it.